everyone. This is a really exciting recipe because it's uh, not using any nuts at all and yet it has like a, it comes out like a peanut sauce and I find that with this particular recipe it's very versatile. We can use it with Vietnamese rolls or we can use it with little um, uh, wraps and put it on, on our wraps. There's any number of things that we can do with it. So it's a really versatile recipe and if you're wanting to get that peanutty taste without using the nuts, well, this is a way of doing it. So today we're going to have uh, a quarter of a cup of tahini and we've got our ta tahini here. We're going to have two tablespoons of fresh ginger, which is over here. And we're going to have uh, some lemon juice. We've got uh, three tablespoons of lemon juice in this recipe and we've got some agave here but once again you could use a different sweetener if you prefer you could have either rapadura uh, sugar or you could use um, honey or maple syrup or um, even rice bran syrup but keep in mind that when you change your sweeteners that it will make a difference to your recipe because maple syrup particularly is very caramelly you find with agave that it doesn't have quite the same uh, intensity. It's very sweet, but it doesn't sort of take over the recipe. And, and you'll notice with a lot of recipes too, when you use honey, uh, you get a honey flavor through the recipe. Whereas with agave, it tends to just blend with all the other ingredients. So you, you feel free to experiment with this because it, it does change the taste of the recipe. And sometimes you may prefer to have honey or have a different sweetener. We also have um, tamari here and I like to use tamari because it's gluten free and uh, it's, it's just a nice sort of uh, soya sauce and it adds a lot of flavour and, um, and lightness, well it'll, it'll add like life to the recipe. And we have some garlic again, we've got half a teaspoon of garlic and if we feel we need to add some water, well there's some water here. And I just thought I'd show you for those I guess most of us know what ginger looks like, but this is a beautiful root of ginger and uh, I use it a lot in recipes because I find that ginger is a, a wonderful. We live in a cold climate and uh, in a cold climate sometimes if we're feeling a little cold, uh, some ginger tea or some ginger in a recipe warms us up considerably and it's also great for blood circulation and uh, all of these ingredients that come from Mother Nature are really uh, so supportive of good health. So we find that um, incorporating some of these products into our day-to-day -day recipes and, and uh, diet is, uh, enhances our health. But keeping in mind, of course, that with health, I think our emotions are probably number one. And uh, if we can be in truth and humility at all times, probably our health's going to be pretty good anyway, so that's really important. But to, today we're just going to put all these things into our uh, blender. Again, I have my magic bullet and I just find this the most marvellous little blender for making sauces, making dressings, creams, all of those sort of things. So it's just a very simple exercise to do this. So we're just going to put the tahini in. This is quite thick. Now tahini of course is sesame seeds that's been made into a beautiful paste and with sesame, sesame is high in protein so we, um, a lot of people ask us when we are vegan and we, we eat a lot of raw food, well of course you can't do that because where does your protein come from? And people forget that uh, we have such an array of beautiful vegetables and uh, you know herbs and spices that all contain protein and one of the greatest things are dark, leaf, uh, dark green leafy vegetables but we then have our nuts and our sesame seeds and, and um, pumpkin seeds and um, sunflower seeds are wonderful for protein so all of these ingredients uh, if we're eating a healthy diet we find that we have more than enough protein in fact we probably have every bit as much as someone who's saddling up to a steak or a fish or, or eggs in their diet. So we have all our ingredients here. I'm just going to move that tray. I should have moved it before. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. I have some 
three beautiful people here helping me on camera, Lena, Peter and Igor, and I'm still practicing learning to work with the camera, so uh, if, I, if some of these things are a little bit tricky, you'll have to forgive me. Now this is a really yummy, yummy dressing sauce. It smells positively divine and it also tastes a little bit peanutty. So you'll find that you'll find all sorts of uses for using this sauce. And here we have bonbon sauce. And now the final test. I'll just, I'll just have Oh, you'd like to have a taste? I'll just have a, of that thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What can I say? Mm. <laughs> Lina, try this. Oh, okay. It's hard to explain uh, the flavor because it's so much, it's such a fiesta in my mouth. So. Oh, it is peanutty. Yeah, it mm. tastes like peanuts. It's and so it's wonderful to incorporate with some of our Asian flavors that we might bring oh, into our raw diet. Mm. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you for showing this.